hits record we just sit here in silence giving it you know a little buffer time and it's always a mystery to see who's gonna break that silence first <laughs> we're always we're always tense on the edge of this couch in the nude just let that sit there my butt was clenched <laughs> truly but we got andy as roland and we got double a back on the helm as mordecai am i just misunderstanding the difference in damage here does this what? say 23 times 7 and this yeah. is 76 times 12? Yeah. That's like... It's tremendously better, right? I didn't even see that. I, I don't know how I missed that. Uh -oh. I'm getting shot and getting killed shot and died that. and done. Oh, God. <laughs> how did you... Because it took enough time to respawn. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch, Jack. I didn't mean Who to. Who inverts the goddamn... <laughs> <laughs> yep. He did that. You know what we call that, friend? Sabotage. Right. <laughs> uh, is it here? Yeah. yeah. 360, 360 controller. controller. Invert All of a sudden, I'm flying a fucking F-16. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Uh, window. There goes my hero. <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator. There we go. So I'm going to have the privilege of trying to show ah. the other guys to my dad. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, uh, I was like, right bumper crap. does not. Yeah, I was things. like, who is trying to blow me up? I don't know why I can't remember these controls. So, give you a heads up. Even though you use two grenades, we still got three more. Oh, you got the uh, yes, awesome. All right. And is lightning bird better than firebird? I have no idea. You're the first one to use it. I think in this situation we might still want to go with firebird because most of our enemies are flesh. Uh, that's a that's a good point. <laughs> Alright then. Did you change look sensitivity or anything? I did make it a little bit more sensitive. Okay. But since you haven't really complained about it. Ah! You know what's really fun to do? Do in a competitive multiplayer, turn the sensitivity all the way up, and then just stand in a circle and spin really fast. Careful, it's going to start to cry if you make it too sensitive. Eh? Whoa! At least I can set things on fire with my turret now. Nice! Thank you. That one felt good. Good show. See, whenever the moment I hop on, we get wrecked. The moment Double A hops on, you guys are doing the wrecking. He, he's kicking butt and taking names. It's like the game knows when I play. It, it knows my my discontent with this game. Ah, oh, damn it. You should stop having discontent over this game, then. I just... I, I, I really can't get into the game. Like, I'm, whenever I'm on the helm, I'm literally just going through hater. the missions. So I was You're playing hater. through Borderlands 2 with my buddy John for the first time. Nice. Um, when Justin was like, hey, I got this game I think you'll like. It's called Titanfall. And obviously you guys know. I yeah. fucking mm. am obsessed with Titanfall. No. But it ruined Borderlands for me. Because in Borderlands, you're so rigid, you can't jump over things that Titanfall the movement is so fluid and yeah. parkourish, you know? I, I couldn't Plus, I stopped playing Borderlands 2, I couldn't do it anymore. You are a giant robot, so clearing things makes things a little easier. Not all the time. Have well, you ever played Titanfall, bud? I have not actually. It's it's super good. Mm -hmm. I definitely look forward to playing There are there are maps where Hint, hint. It's good to be in the mech, and there are maps where you're actually at a disadvantage for being in the mech. For yeah, and you can call the mech down and not get inside of it. You can put it in guard or follow mode. Huh. You could use that. You could use the drop as a weapon itself. Yeah, if you can drop your titan on another titan, it's an instant kill and an achievement. Wow. It sucks when it happens to you. Uh, Double A can test that when I first tried it, when he let me try out the game, and the first thing that happened was I got squashed by someone's Titan. Because, like, what's this icon? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's seriously an amazing game, though. It's Double, one of my favorites. Uh, Double A let me just kind of go for go for broke and just take, take caution. Boosh. Boosh. Did I really miss that guy again? 
a double A. I hear if you put the little dot in the center on the enemy and shoot, it does damage. Come back. Say what? Go! Come back. I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> That's awesome! Double A, you just gave me a whole episode worth of what to do. Wow. Nice. Good shot, sir. And I shall heal you as a reward. Too bad you couldn't drop the guy after you got dropped. Oh. Yeah. Nice. You're about to do it on your own. You? No scope 360. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're, we're, we're faring pretty well, you know. Dude, I think the game just knows what I'm playing. You know what game I would definitely love to get on the show? What's right. that? Left 4 Dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. I highly encourage that at some point. And as far as PC, like, I prefer to play on the PC, just because I think the graphics are a lot better and uh, more control. Mm -hmm. The game's old enough to where most new PCs today is pretty good. And, you know, we have double A's, we got mine, uh, Kelly has his laptop and his PC. So we pretty much have the four four computers. And OBS is pretty, pretty so easy to use. Yeah, I use OBS for my streams. I might have to see what your settings are for OBS to fix my PC issue. I'm sure they're not optimized. I just don't play anything that's... I've, I've streamed Civ 5 and Diablo 3. Like, they're not... But, but Diablo 3 is more recent is more recent than uh, Arkham Knights. Or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Diablo 2. But, I mean, again, like, I was having the blurry issue. Like, if you look at Sonic, it was having that blurry issue as well. And we're talking about a game where it's a direct port from Genesis. Yeah, that's fair. So I, I want to take a look at your settings when I get the chance. Maybe I can use that as a template. Because you guys don't have any issues with uh, like blurriness. Do you mm -hmm. record or you just straight stream? Both. Okay. I record them, but I don't do anything with the recordings. I don't have time. Have, have you looked at the recordings? I haven't. But okay. I have them. I have all of them. Uh, when we get the chance, I like to take a look at them, see how the recordings show. Sure. Because if it's a lot better than what I have, then I'm definitely going to take a look at your settings. Sure. But I would love to get Left 4 Dead. So, I don't know why, uh, I think a lot of it because uh, me and my buddy uh, English Nate love to play Left 4 Dead a lot. So we were gearing up for the next Total War game, Warhammer. Huh. And I don't know if you guys heard, but there's a huge thing with the pre-order bonus. Where you get a faction unlocked or added to the game for DLC. Hmm. And it, the faction is cha the Chaos Faction. The okay. problem is is that the game is called Total War, Warhammer, Chaos Rising. And the hmm. story is based on either you're playing as the Chaos Faction or you're trying to fight against them. Interesting. So if you pre-order the game, you get a DLC faction, which is so part of the main story, and you should have it already. Okay. <laughs> And from what Kelly was telling me, I have to read more into it, but this is what he told me. Apparently there's only like three factions available from the start, which is BS for a Total War game. Because like, uh, Shog I think Shogun 2 was the best one with DLC, where you had like five or six factions, and any DLC added more to the campaign and more factions that had new abilities. <clears throat> like of the Western update where it added uh, gunpowder, so you had gunpowder weapons in it. Nice. You know, you're talking about um, Left 4 Dead. You know, it'd be another really fun four-person computer game. Mm -hmm. Although it doesn't have to be a computer. Uh, Payday Two. Yes, I yes. love Payday Two. Yes, I played Left 4 Dead, but I never played a uh, Payday. Uh, it literally is the equivalent. It's the idea with uh, Left 4 Dead teamwork. But instead of hordes of zombies, it's hordes of officers with special officers. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fucking fun. That sounds awesome. I think my favorite special uh, SWAT unit is uh, they call it, like me, me uh, my brother and his friends call them the Splinter Cell characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a pain in the ass. They are, but man, they look cool. Yeah, they do. Like I literally, when I was playing the first payday with my, my brother, we would just hop out. I was like, "Up, oh, Sam Fisher's in here. Sam Fisher's here." <laughs> Um, me and uh, Nate, uh, LG, <coughs> uh, we played Payday 2 a lot on PS3 when it was uh, free for PS uh, PlayStation users to download in the mm -hmm. phone. Yeah, I still have that, actually. 
dude, me and Nate were trying to find two other people to play with us because we were doing like a lot of the harder missions where, you know, teamwork it was key. And we were two manning it, and it was an uphill struggle. Mm. Uh, one of them was uh, the elephant. Uh, it's like elephant something where you have to go into the museum. Yeah, yeah. We that's two, a hard one. Dude, we two manned that. Nice. And it was literally Nate would go in, and I just watched cameras for him. Huh. It was a pain in the butt. And the only reason why we got caught was uh, a guard changed his pathing on us at the last second, and we didn't have time to move a body because I had an ability where I can... Uh, Body bag. Body bag one. Yep. And we left it because I decided to hop in after him because we had, we had a few we had a good idea for the pathing, and then one of the guards just changed it up on us and uh, we got caught and it ended up in a firefight at the end. Nice. Well, that game is legitimately like you need you need four players for a lot of the missions, like the fun ones. We played on the computer, uh, Justin Kelsey. Uh, myself and my brother's ex-wife and uh, Kelsey was running it on her laptop but the only resolution she could it literally looked like a cell phone game Jeez. like it was super super tiny on her screen it was hysterical well I'm I mean I have paid too on my comp so I'm Andy I think I'm gonna die because I don't think I can get up here ah. fortunately they can't walk, just walk off the edge because when, when you're in fight for life you can't move ah. well, uh, Granted, though, it'd be hard to get everyone to get it cause yeah. just because of systems, but I would really love to get all of us playing Siege together. What's that? Uh, the new Rainbow Six game that just came out. Like, Well, it came out in December. It's a game, duh. Um, I think the best comparison is it's Counter-Strike, but slower. Okay. So, it's five on five. Um, and, it, like, there are three match types. It's always random. Uh, you can create your own specific match where you can select, but it's either hostage, bomb defusal, or secure area. Did you die and restart, Andy? No. Okay. Not um, yet, anyway. And uh, with the uh, were with, there like ammo things at the beginning? I don't know. Thought they were. But um. But um. One of the, one of my favorite things with Siege is uh, there are uh, you you can choose an operator and they have special abilities. So you can have like a Thermite, whose special ability is uh, he can set up breach charges on reinforced walls because mm -hmm. uh, the enemy can reinforce the wall so they they can't shoot through a breach room normally. And uh, Thermite's one of the few characters that can actually break through those to give you give you a new opening into a room. Huh. Um, there's Blitz, who's a shield guy. He uses a half shield that has uh, a flash on it, so you can blind your opponents if they're close enough. That's awesome. Uh, on like defensive side, you have like uh, Mute, who can set up uh, scramblers, Yay. and if you put them on walls, it can disable like uh, clusters, uh, fuses, cluster grenades, or thermites, uh, thermite pads. Okay. Uh, you can put it on windows to um, disable therm. Uh, breaching charges and they disable drones because that's what the uh, attacking team uses at the beginning yeah. for casual drones to try to scout out the area to find the location of whatever the objective is nice um so casual is pretty fun uh ranked the reason why i want to get p1 is because ranked is where the real fun is like what they showed off at e3 where you choose the your loading area yeah where you uh, spawn from and it's more tactical in my opinion. Okay. Like, both defensive, like, the defensive side can choose where it wants to start off for defending the objective. And the uh, attacking team starts, uh, can choose where they spawn at. I nice. found the elevator. Alright, I'm close. There you go. And uh, it's one of the game, few games where if you try to lone with it, you're not gonna, it's not gonna end well. Yeah. Then, like, rounds are three minutes. It's, it's really slow paced, but it's one of those where it's slow paced, but once you get into a firefight, it goes real quickly. Yeah. I was watching a video of a ranked match. Dude, for two rounds straight, straight up was one versus five. Wow. And he took them all out. All right. Well, we're at the 15 minute mark. So why don't we go ahead and stop here, yeah. and then next time we'll do the assault on uh, Sledge.
Going down. Whoop, whoop. Someone's phone's ringing again.